Hey there, in this video I'm gonna tell you why Amazon Influencers video is the biggest opportunity in 2022. And the reason I actually say this is because we just started five months ago and in last month alone we make three and a half thousand dollars and that's actually not that huge comparing to some other people on the platform. The reason it actually works and I guess the biggest difference between this program and any other program is in a lot of these different programs you actually have to bring potential customer to purchase a product. So case in point let's say you in Amazon Associates program you can still put the links in your description of your YouTube video for example but you have to mention it and you kind of have to bring attention to this link hopefully somebody clicks it and then of course few people might actually buy the product earning you commissions you see in amazon influences program you actually don't have to do that because all you need to do is make good review videos directly on amazon platform and if the videos are acceptable and complying with community guidelines and somebody watches the video and then decides to buy the product you earn the commission so the biggest difference is you don't look for any customer amazon has customers already and that's huge but before i go any farther let me tell you how to start with this program approximately and some few things that you have to definitely be aware of it and i'm gonna I also show you how we started and how we quickly build this income to what it is right now after just few months. So first and I'm gonna go through the steps quickly. This is not gonna be exact application. This is kind of overview before you apply for Amazon Influencer Program and just little general information about the process. So as I mentioned before, of course, Amazon Influencers Program is kind of like next step to the Amazon Associates Program. And Amazon Associates Program is obviously easier to get to. And that's for the simple reason that you don't really have to have a lot of of influence online as long as you have some little views and little bit subscribers you can apply for amazon associates program you can pretty much qualify very quickly and start posting links under your videos on YouTube. Obviously, there is disclaimers that have to be mentioned, but basically it's easier to get approved for the program. Now, as far as Amazon Influencers Program go, as the name itself states, this is Influencer Program. So basically, you have to have some little following online. Now, you don't need to have 100,000 subscribers, none of this stuff. And Amazon actually doesn't mention specifically how many subscribers or followers you need to have. But my general idea is that if, for example, on YouTube, you get monetized after 1,000 subscribers, so probably you can try after 1,000 subscribers. Now, I'm not stating this as a fact. This is just my opinion. So you can basically try. If you get approved, then great. And if you don't, you can try again sometime later when you build a little bit bigger audience. Now we applied when we already have Amazon Associates account and I believe this is the best way to do it. But there's also people online and on YouTube saying that you don't need to be in the first program to qualify for Amazon Influencer program. But nevertheless, you have to apply for it. Of course, they're gonna ask you a bunch of questions and let's assume you get approved. There is actually a few features you're gonna have. Number one, you're gonna have a storefront. So you can actually build kind of like an Amazon store. You're basically occupying space on Amazon. Let's call it that way. And you can put the banner and actually design it your way and you can put the list of the products you normally recommend to people so let's say you have a gaming channel for example most likely you're gonna put in this list you know tag about gaming you know computers mouse pads uh, joysticks and anything that goes with the gaming so the store from this self is pretty cool somebody can go and it's kind of more personal experience additionally you can live stream on amazon and again if you're talking about some product the product is on the display and, and there is stack product below and somebody decides to purchase it while you're live streaming you earn commission that way too then there is shoppable photos so you can actually make photos of the products and then the time somebody clicks it obviously you can earn commission but the best feature is amazon influencer video some people call it shoppable video, some people call it Amazon Shorts, some people call it Amazon Influencer video, but basically it is a review video that you post on Amazon. Obviously you upload the video for your storefront. You can do it from two places. One is to click this create content and the way I usually do it is manage videos and then upload video. Now obviously there is also community guidelines. So I would suggest you basically follow all of them, but basically if you want Amazon to show your videos publicly, you have to first upload three videos, obviously record the proper videos according to all the community guidelines, make the videos very clear, make the videos relatively short, looking nicely so Amazon can improve it fast. And then once you basically click submit and then Amazon will review these three videos and if all three videos comply with community guidelines and they got videos, 
then Amazon will start showing your videos publicly, meaning on the product's shelf when Amazon customers actually buy the products. And there is actually two main rules how long people have to watch your video on Amazon for you to qualify to earn the commission from that sale. Number one is the video could be from few seconds long to I believe 10 minutes. Number two, if the video is longer than 30 seconds, then the viewer has to actually watch the video for 30 seconds for you to qualify for the commission if they decide to buy the product. So for example, if the video is 47 seconds long and the person watches only 28 seconds, and even if this person buys the product, since they didn't watch 30 seconds of your video, then that video is not gonna qualify you for the commissions earned from the purchase. And there is another rule because sometimes you review some simple product that is only a few seconds long video. So basically for videos shorter than 30 seconds, let's say you have a video 15 seconds long, then the viewer has to watch full video. Now this should go without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Obviously when you do these reviews, this is just a tip. You wanna stick to the review. This is not YouTube and you definitely don't wanna tell some outside story. So you should definitely stick to the shorter form review only. Basically tell all the benefits, how this product is good, how you use the product. Obviously show the product in the video. Actually Amazon doesn't really allow screenshots and stuff like that to show in those videos. The entire purpose of the video is to provide good consumer's experience. So they want you to have the product in hand. And this is basically how you start. You start uploading these videos and some of them will start to get a little bit views, meaning the video was good enough for Amazon to show it to more viewers. And of course, when they buy the product, you earn the proper commissions. Before I'm gonna share with you how we started and what videos I started to upload, I just wanna tell you that these videos don't have to be in the specific niche. So even if you have YouTube channel, for example, or about video equipment, that actually doesn't mean that on Amazon, you cannot upload video about hair dryers. And I'm not joking. This is actually my example. Look at the variety of the videos I posted. Amazon doesn't have any restriction on any specific niche. Sure, when you open the storefront, it's actually better to focus on one specific niche or one brand, but the videos itself don't have to be specifically affiliated with that topic. So when we started, we actually started to review products we already had. Another really crazy awesome thing is you can actually repurpose the videos from different platforms. So for example, if you have some review video on YouTube of some Amazon product, you can actually cut that video to make it proper for Amazon and post it as a review on Amazon. Of course, there is rules, so make sure don't say subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and this and that because that's not allowed on Amazon. That's why I read all the guidelines first. So when we started, I actually didn't spend any money for products at all. And some of you might have same situation when you actually have products from Amazon at home. So for example, our first video was my review of the car booster. I actually had this video on YouTube for a very long time and I actually edited to make it proper for Amazon and posted on Amazon. And also these other products that I had at home, I posted them there too. Now, right now you see this booster with zero views, but the first month I posted the video, it actually had some views and it brought me some sales as well. Then we started to post more product reviews, obviously from the items we still had at home. And the first month I was kind of slacking off. I didn't really upload too many videos. Also, there was not so much motivation, even though it was new program for me, but I was like, is this really gonna work, this and that? But then finally, you know, a couple of cents here started to pop up. And as you could see, the first day was not that much money per se earned, but the point is it started. Second month, I uploaded a little bit more videos, still with the items I had at home. So I would definitely say first 30 to 40 videos we actually made from the items we already had at home. So first, let's say thousand dollars or so was earned actually from the items we had at home originally. And that's without spending any other money to buy any product, none of the stuff. But of course, we always buy something on Amazon, something that we use for home or the car. So we were only buying the stuff that we actually needed. Pretty much when I got new item from Amazon, I would just review it, no matter what it was. And then of course, November and December came, so I posted even more videos because we needed to do a lot of Christmas shopping anyway. So instead of going to some other local stores, I decided to buy it on Amazon because then I can review it. And as you could see, the income started from $48 but then every single month it was growing and growing until December when it hit three and a half thousand dollars. And this is definitely not the tab yet where we can make from it. So the reason this is such a huge opportunity is very simple. This program is relatively new. And while Amazon influences program is there for a while, 
but the Amazon influencer video where you can actually upload your own videos for reviews, that part exists since only about a year ago, maybe a year and two months. So think about YouTube in 2008. Wasn't that awesome opportunity to upload videos? Of course it was. And same with Amazon. This is pretty much the beginning of the opportunity. I believe 2022 is going to be insane on Amazon influencer video and whoever is going to participate is going to definitely take advantage of this opportunity. Now, if you want to hear my full strategy, how to actually make more money on Amazon influencer program, step by step, make sure to click this video. If it's not available right now, there will be some other video in here, but it will be available in a few days. So make sure to subscribe. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, stay motivated, make another video today, and I see you in the next one. Bye, guys.